everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i am simply key if you're new to my channel welcome and if you're one of my old family members thank you for tuning in so y'all know y'all see the girl with this on what that could i already mean what it could possibly be i already got my setup here my little mirror and stuff and my concealer sitting here so i'll be ready um this is the equal lace Invisible L Part Clary Wig. Now, I took it out the packaging because, and that's how I came packaging, because I wanted to see the color up close. But this is the stock card on her. I did get her in the color OTBLBK. I don't know what the OT stands for, but I know the BL and the BK stands for blue black. So, I did get her in this. A lot, if y'all watch my wig reviews, then you know I already did a wig review on Clary in the color number four, as well as the color OP27, which um, number four is an everyday wig. Um, it's very business-like. It looks very natural. You can wear it anywhere. OP27, still very natural. You can pretty much wear it anywhere. Um, very business like just gives you a few highlights and like kind of brightens it up but like i said um those are really everyday weeks those are weeks that you can wear every day the colors are not too out there they're not too bold they they're very you know they can um you can wear them basically any type of setting so i decided y'all know i love color i don't wear color to work Unless it's like a blonde, but other than that, like my blues and my purples, I do not wear, wear to work because I just feel like that's unprofessional. To those that like to wear colors to work, whatever floats your boat, but for me and where I work, that's just not a good look. So, on my days off, I like to play with color, hence why I got this baby here. So, you can basically see the blue coming through there already. Now, what I like about this one is... They really made sure that this had the flip that it was supposed to have. What I like about this one is that even though it says blue but black, the color is not overpowered. So you get your color, but it's not all bright blue. It's a dark, nice, subtle type of blue. So that's what I like about it. It does have two combs in the front. It has a comb in the back, and it has your adjustable straps, which are standard in any wig. But yeah, y'all already know I'm gonna cut the combs out. It does have, that's your parting. That's what your parting pretty much looks like. I know you can't really see it, but from where I'm looking, the parting is pretty good. So it's a L part. Um, now, I don't know if this, I wouldn't, I don't think this is the type of wig you can cut. I wouldn't cut the wig personally. Um, let me see. It says you can style with your own natural hair. So I'm assuming, yeah, you can cut this if you want to. But why would you cut it? Like, if you want to tweeze apart, tweeze apart, throw a little concealer in there and call it a day. So, I know you're not going to be able to see the part very good because of the stocking cap that I do have on. So I'm going to go ahead, not only take those combs out, but I'm going to also go ahead and color that part. And I don't feel like I have to tweeze this part right now. Notice I say right now. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that later on. But as of right now, I don't feel like I need to tweeze anything. So that's how it looks. I know you can't really just see it a whole bunch, but I did what I could for right now. So let me get the thing to comb, pluck out the combs and I'll be right back. A billion times how I take the comb out so it's not a big secret. I use an eyebrow shaper and just gently take it out. Not complicated, not hard to do at all. If you know what you're doing, you can have them out then within less than a minute. So, I got all the combs out. I'm going to adjust the straps 
Because although I thought I had a big head, I guess it's not as big as I thought it was. Because normally I just have to, because now I just find myself adjusting the straps a whole bunch. So yeah. Make sure this baby fit me. And I'm really glad they're starting to make the adjustable straps with the class. Okay, so let's put this baby on. Let me put my stocking cap back a little bit. Slide this puppy on. Okay, so I need to go under here, pull the hair out. Make sure those ear tabs are where they need to be. So right now I'm adjusting the wig, fixing it how I want it to go. Down. Hold on one second. Let me get my wig brush. First of all, color is bomb. Hold on. Let me take this tag off. Because I didn't cut that tag. Because I'm so excited about this darn wig. I didn't think to cut the tag. Oh my God. Okay. She's excited. Okay. Let me fix this. Because I just brushed some hair over. Okay. Let's see with this baby. Now, this is how it looks. This is what it's looking like on the scalp. So I think they did pretty good with the construction. I think that construction is amazing. Like it's and this this is really snug on me. So I'm not worried about it going nowhere. Ooh, that back pretty. I'm brushing that back. But I'm gonna bring that down. And I'm gonna bring that back up. Now, this is a lot of hair. So, please know that if you don't like a lot of hair, you're not gonna like this unit. So, don't waste your time buying it. If you don't like big hair, you're not gonna like this unit. Don't waste your time buying it. Girl, girl, feeling that color, honey. That flip is everything. Oh my gosh. I am getting my life right now. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Yes. I'm getting my life right now, y'all. She's bomb. Like, super bomb. Now, the hair does fall in the eyes. Um, That doesn't bother me. It might bother some. It doesn't bother me. So I'm just basically brushing the hair back. Let me fix, get my mirror. Bring it to the front how I want it to go. Taking this hair, flipping it. And I use a powder brush. Because I find if you use the other brushes with the, the where the bristles are not spread out, it snags the hair. And your wig will, wig will not last as long. But if you use a paddle brush like this, your wig will have staying power. Oh my God. This is freaking bomb. Yes. If you hear children in the background, y'all know it's summertime. Y'all know I got children. So y'all know they in my house clean. Now, hold on. Let's see. That is the parting space. I am probably going to go in and tweeze that part. But then again, I don't know. I might just leave it alone. I really don't know because I don't the, the part don't bother me the color is everything like I'm loving this I'm looking at my mirror y'all because I'm loving this hair yes watch this yeah this my y'all call me the wig whisperer but she the real wig whisperer hold on Audrey what you think this hair like you you like the color? Yeah, her hair wild because she gonna get her hair done, so y'all gotta excuse her. <laughs> the color don't look like it's too much. Uh-uh. Like, do you got a purple one like that? I know, but the purple one is longer. It's the Carissa. It's like longer. This one is like a blue, but you know, I got a blue one, but it's the Pippa, and then it's the Jazzy. But I wanted one like the Clary, so I got the Clary. Ooh, she fancy, huh? 
Ain't this like your other brownie? Yeah, the, it's the other brown clary. Oh my God. So, my other wig with me, she love it too. Me too, those curls are everything. And yeah, like I said, it's a lot of hair. So if you don't like a lot of hair during the summertime, then I would wait to either purchase this during the winter time or buy it now and just put it in your arsenal for you to bring out during the winter time. This, I would actually, because it's not heavy, it's not hot. Like I'm not hot. Um, so I would probably rock this during the summertime. I wouldn't rock it every day because I want to preserve something so pretty like this. But if I'm going out with my husband, going out with my girls, or I know I'm not just going to be moving around too, too much, then I'm going to rock this. But yes. She's pretty, honey. Yeah, she loves blue, y'all. Um, really soft. The hair is real soft now. I will tell you, it does mimic... Uh, yak, it is yakky hair, so it does mimic a blowout. Like if you blew out your hair and just probably not pressed it, not um, flat ironed it, but if you blew out your hair and just threw some perm rods or some uh, curl curlers in it, then this is the effect you would get. Hold on. But yeah, like I was saying, if you were to blow out this hair and just throw some curlers in it, this is the. I think this is what you would get. It's, it's soft. That's what I like. It feels like natural blown out hair. It doesn't feel coarse. It doesn't feel hard. I haven't received, I haven't gotten any shit, but of course y'all know I just took it out the bag. Now, from my experience with Clary, it does shed just a little bit, nothing major. For me, that that's not a problem since that is since it is such a full, full wig. I'm not bothered by that, but so I'm going to turn around so you can see how the back is. Now the back is not curled like the front, which is okay. I don't like the back curled anyway. I with my jazzy that my jazzy and my Carissa, that's what kind of irritated me was that the back was curled. So I had to mind those curls the whole time I was wearing that wig. This I pretty much don't have to do this. Okay. Yep. Okay, so that's what it looks like in the back. And I will say this hair is maybe 22, 18 inches, between 18 and 22 inches long in the back. So that's not bad. I'm 5'7". So it, it stops at a nice little length. And like I said, um, let's see, right here is like a 16 inch. So it's shorter in the front, longer in the back. That's how I like my wigs. I like it to have a couple of layers coming through there in the front. You know, kind of frame your face and make it all pretty. And if they layer it right and frame it right, of course it's not gonna be as long as the back is, so whatever. But, something on my, coming through my screen. But yeah, y'all, I paid $19 for this unit from wigstights.com. Definitely go check them out. Let me tell you what this wig reminds me of. It reminds me of Jordan. Give me that paper, because I wrote some notes down. It reminds me of Jordan. Um, this wig also reminds me of Nisha, except it reminds me of Nisha as a shorter version. Because, you know, Nisha is very long, and I'm waiting to get Nisha because I need her in five different colors. So, I'm waiting until almost the winter time to purchase her. But, um, she also reminds me of Jenny and Noelle. She's a shorter version of Noelle and Nisha. Nisha, Noelle is the cheaper version of Nisha. But they really, to me, are the same texture, and that is what she reminds me of. Like I said, she's just a shorter version. Same thickness, same fullness as the Nisha. Um, same to me, the same fullness as the Jordan. But to me, it's more softer. So, before I go buy a Jordan, I will buy what I know, which is the Clary. Because I just, I love the way she falls. I know a lot of people said that theirs didn't have these curls in it. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on with y'all wigs. But I own darn near eight of these um, in different colors. And my curls always come out like this. So I don't know if maybe it's the company you're getting them from. But then someone said they got them from wigs types too. So I don't know. But every time I buy them, my wigs are slayed. And I don't really have to do nothing to them. So I don't know <laughs> what to say about that, but yeah, honey, this is Clary and OT B L B K blue black. Just enough blue where it's not going, it's not too crazy, it's not over the top. I'm finna get out of here because 
we gotta do something with this. There's just a lot of hair. She, she dang near got a wig on her head, okay? All right, so y'all, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, I'm Simply Key. And if nobody told you you're beautiful today, Simply Key has now officially told you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.